Speedway for Toronto Indy. It's live from that speed up to 187. Let's go! Welcome here, my fellow cheer walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today, on another rest day off of work, I was mainly staying inside the condo editing Laugh from Last Week episode 186 to give myself some time away from editing on the computer later this week while watching some of the highlights of the Home Run Derby that was on from last night. And since I remembered that I had no physical activity over the past couple of days, inspired by the weather clearing up from an earlier thunderstorm that was pretty severe in Toronto, and by this beautiful sunset that we witnessed to the west just yesterday evening, I'm currently out at a local track to watch some pickup soccer off in the distance while trying to get some activity and some steps in this evening. So after staying out till post sunset to achieve this daily step milestone, I was able to pass out at the condo for an amazing almost nine hour sleep before continuing with this habit of doing daily exercises, jumping on the stationary bike for the first time in what seems like months, to do a workout here while I felt pretty out of shape, wanting to quit after only 30 minutes, to actually breaking a sweat and staying on this thing for a nice 60 minute bike workout. Now guys, after feeling this productive today, before I go in for one single night shift tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who I always reunite every year at the yearly holiday party every December. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Shri. Happy birthday, Shri. And we've also got a birthday greeting to one of the cousin-in-laws who is one of the greatest competitors I've ever seen play alongside me in the courts of badminton. This birthday shout out goes out to you poots. Happy birthday poots. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. With a night shift where I got busy during morning rounds right at shift change, when I saw this miraculous box at the nursing station, I did the only thing I knew what to do when presented with this situation in the past. And that was to take out my shift frustrations on one delightful donut of my choosing. Anyways, after getting a lackluster sleep of less than three hours earlier today, recalling this scene from a couple weeks back, when I got closer to my bike, I saw this. My bike was hit, had toppled over, and had sustained new damages by somebody who wasn't accountable for it, and had left the scene. For the first time in what seems like years, I went back to Scarborough's Snow City Cycle to pay for the parts for my baby Rouge. But upon getting a quote of how much those parts were, as well as this estimate for the labor cost, I just had to say, c'est la vie, as I knew that the expenses would be costly. But moving on guys, after seeing this ad on Facebook earlier in the week, of a 90s themed event put on by one of my favorite DJs, I drove the wife in the Mini on her way to Night Shift, before she had dropped me off in the beaches area, wearing this attire for the first time since last year's Lollapalooza in Chicago so that I could come here to Woodbine Park, work on my Rubik's Cube skills for a little bit, 
and enjoy a Beaches International Jazz Festival show this evening with the gear that my cousin Faye and Duave got me for my birthday. Watching the show put on DJ starting from scratch and company. But before we wrap it up for the day, I have a quick birthday shout out to a childhood friend who makes her own charms slash jewelry and runs her own business like a boss. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Natasha. Happy birthday, Natasha. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who I remember traveling with to Europe for World Youth Day 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kisa. Happy birthday, Kisa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood dance teachers whose favorite performer is Bob Fosse. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So quickly, starting off today, I have a birthday greeting to one of my buddies out there who I miss going to games with and attending their Halloween parties that they throw every year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Justin. Happy birthday, Justin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after that fun night out at Woodbine Park, last night where it felt like i was dancing all night long to 90s hits that i haven't heard in a long time after looking at my phone and seeing this facebook post i was able to meet up for the first time since playing indoor volleyball with her a while back my friend debbie here enjoying the nightlife with her at this event I was also able to meet up a couple of Canadian music legends such as Much Music host Master T Yo Master T the legend in the place And the headliner himself DJ starting from scratch Yo DJ start from scratch who had also recognized the shirt that the Cousin Faye had gotten me. Anyways, after getting in a workout, having my heart rate elevated as well as my 10,000 daily steps in, eventually achieving more than 15,000 steps yesterday, unfortunately, I was able to only sleep for five hours last night because I may have been too excited to go to this yearly event that I always mark on my calendar. So, breaking out this Facebook Marketplace baby that I bought a couple weeks back, I drove a Mini with the wife's supervision to catch my GO train to surprise and meet up with Tito Mone and Tito Eddie. and take them to a place just like I did at this time last year to where I'm at right now here at the exhibition grounds to catch some action from the 2024 Honda Toronto Wind.
So yesterday at the racing event, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to an important star in my previous vlogs. After getting this baby a while back and taking her to ports and places all over the world, it was finally her time breaking up in my hands with me yesterday afternoon saying, my final farewells. But guys, one thing that did turn my negative into a positive yesterday was not just getting my 10,000 steps in before 2 p.m., but rather running into and taking a video with one of my favorite all-time race car drivers. Yo, check out who I saw at the Honda Indy. Yo, wait, let's go this way, this way. Yeah, better ankle. Yeah, James Hinchcliffe. Canadian legend. <laughs> I've seen you, man. Enjoy the race. Yeah, take care, man. Woo! Red Bull guy. Yeah, sure. Anyways, once getting back home, the wife had brought me to a place that I haven't visited in a little bit, taking me to our local Kung Fu Tea to get one of my favorite bubble teas, the 38 Milk King Tea. While at the same time trying to challenge me to a couple of matches of Connect Four. But yeah, after catching yet another beautiful sunset from the views of the condo last night and catching up on a little bit of sleep, before heading to the condo of my Ate Shah to visit her for a little bit. Just like we've done in previous years past, we had spent all day at Thompson Park in Scarborough to celebrate the annual San Miguel Summer Picnic of 2024. So falling asleep last night to catch up on some much needed rest. Earlier, I was able to run to the Kennedy GO station to catch the GO train from here and edit some live from last week videos while transiting, eventually arriving at the Unionville GO station to go to a place that I haven't been to since last year, I believe at the Markham Pan Am Center to check out their Olympic size swimming pool to meet up with my Tito dads who I haven't seen in over five years as well as of course my Ate Shah and my Kuya John to watch the nephew Blueberry in another one of his swim meet competitions. And after watching with his proud and supportive family Seeing just how much he has improved on his swimming strokes since the last time I watched him in person. While chowing down on some of my favorites, this cute little container of mini stickos that my Atesha gave me to snack on, I welcomed him in the lobby with this post race interview. How'd you do? Great. Way to go, Jerry! Anyways, coming back to Scarborough to be picked up by the wife in the mini and being surprised by this great gift of chicken and waffles that she had presented to me. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. We'll be heading to Sunday evening Catholic Mass at the local St. Lawrence the Martyr Parish with first doing the several birthday greetings that we have for you guys today. And with that, we have the first birthday greeting going out to one of my beach volleyball traveling friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lisa. Happy birthday, Lisa. Next up, a birthday shout out to another one of my beach volleyball friends who I remember playing alongside with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends out there who I remember was pretty talented at the game of basketball. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rebecca. Happy birthday, Rebecca. We do have a birthday greeting to one of my manongs out there who inspired me to do my marathons and training for triathlons in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Manong Ed. Happy birthday, Manong Ed. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of the biggest Chicago Blackhawk fans out there who was also my roommate for several years at Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Evan. Happy birthday, Rumi. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends slash cousins slash classmates from back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sam. Happy birthday, Sam Sam. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays this weekend, are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So firstly, we'll start off today with a quick birthday greeting to one of our friends that we made during our FSAT tutoring days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kayleen. Happy birthday, Kayleen. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, on to yesterday after attending Sunday evening mass. Inspired by our friends that we saw last week before we sent them off to their Japan trip, which they are at right now. Going here for the first time in what seems like several months. We went to Hana Ramen, one of our favorite places to go and get Japanese ramen. And taking the wife out for some delicious ramen dinner that she was craving so much. Enjoying this with the free extra noodle serving that they give every time we order here. But yeah, on to today where I actually got a pretty decent sleep last night. Doing just like we did a couple weeks back. I had a couple of cousins come over for another fun in the sun session of tennis at the condo. Then guys, post game for lunch, we went to the local Royal Kanji Chinese restaurant to have this delicious feast here with the family. And pretty much finishing all the food that was left on the table until our bellies were content. But now, resting at the condo for a little bit. Before I continue with one of my New Year's resolutions that I've been doing every month for the past half a year or so and that is going to Woodbine Beach to play my monthly beach volleyball session this time for the month of July. 
That is, oh. We will just wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So guys, as usual, if you enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow G Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.